Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and this is just a quick video I want to make. It's like uh, almost one in the morning, and I'm making, I just did a Venom uh, Absolute Carnage trailer reaction, and I'm recording this real quick, and then I got to go to bed because I have to be up in a few hours for work. Um, but uh, this, I'm just so thankful for this. Uh, as you know, I went to E3 a couple weeks ago, and uh, I was, the one game, like one of the two games that I was absolutely looking forward to seeing there was this game coming out called Control by Remedy Games, and I could not find them anywhere. I don't know if they had a booth. I did go upstairs and I saw a 505 Games kind of room, uh, but it looked like it was for press only, so I didn't go and like, you know, talk to any. I probably should have just gone and asked, um, but I, I everyone up there had like a different kind of badge, and, and one guy was even like, oh, you know, you know, places, go downstairs, there's more stuff, look at downstairs, so I kind of took that as a cue to like politely, you know, ask to leave, um, but when I saw the 505 Games, I was like, oh, I think that's where Remedy is, and I think that's where the Control game is, but uh, I wasn't able to like approach anyone or talk to anyone, so I didn't get to play it, and I was so bummed because I really, really wanted to cover that game because I'm such a big fan of Remedy. I love the Max Payne series, uh, particularly the first two games, although I still played three and I like three. Uh, it, to me, it just doesn't, uh, you know, it's not up there with one and two. Those are just credit to those games. They're very, they're very phenomenal. Uh, but also Alan Wake. I'm a huge, huge Alan Wake fan. We actually just played it tonight, uh, today or yesterday, I guess now, was a National Video Game Day, and I wanted to play at least one video game and stream it, but because of my head and, and how I felt earlier, I didn't want to wear the headset and talk. Um, while playing a game, I just want to do something relaxing and just play, you know, without having to do multiple things like keep up with chat and all this stuff. So uh, I just did a quiet stream with no commentary of Alan Wake Episode 1, and I, I had a blast. So what I'm going to do is probably continue to play the game um, and play all the DLC and then play American Nightmare. And then what I'll do is I'll edit it down uh, from like one and a half hours to like shorter episodes and uh, add commentary to them uh, because I love that game. It's just one of my favorite all-time games in my top five all-time favorite video games. And uh, and Quantum Break, I didn't get a chance to play uh, yet, uh, but I, I am going to pick up a copy of that uh, probably later this summer and play it, but probably after we play Control, because uh, I'm very excited to play Control. And now that Remedy has the Alan Wake rights or the IP, they own it fully, I'm hoping we get to see maybe a PS4 release of it, or at least another DLC, kind of like how um, uh, American Nightmare was, and tell some of the Alice stuff. Because I remember, I think one of the original ideas was to make a second game uh, or add-on that uh, where you played as Alice, who was Alan Wake's wife, trying to look for him. So I, either one of those I'd be happy with, even though I feel like American Nightmares kind of has a happy ending in a way, um, I, and it works for me. If that if they just told me, hey, that's the end of that one, we're going to do like a spinoff or a second one or whatever, it would, whatever, it works for me because I liked it that much. Uh, but anyway, I actually talked to, um, they had this thing at E3, so I was trying to like follow Remedy on Twitter and see where their booth was, and I couldn't find any information, but the one thing I did find was, hey, if you take a picture of yourself underneath our control banner in uh, the West Hall, then we will, um, you know, we'll give you a t-shirt, we'll track you down and give you a t-shirt. So on, t on Wednesday, I took a picture of myself under there, and I tagged them, and I said, hey, any chance you have any extra t-shirts? And by the time they got back to me, um, unfortunately, it was already a whole day had passed. It was uh, Thursday. And as you guys know, I got really sick on Wednesday. After I left E3, I was in bad condition. And I woke up Thursday, and I just didn't have the energy. I couldn't do it. Uh, with the amount of health problems I've been having lately, uh, this definitely pushed me over the edge. I was already working, like, nonstop leading up to E3. But then adding E3 on top of it just tapped me out and exhausted me. Um, so I was unable to go. And so they wrote me back on Twitter and they're like, hey, we'll get you one. I think her name was Vita. And she was like, I, I can get you a shirt. Um, are you here? And I said, I'm so sorry. Like, it's fine. Give it to another fan. Um, you know, it's, it's fine. You know, and she was so nice. She was like, look, when I get back to Finland, you know, when we get back to uh, home, to our home offices, I will send you a shirt. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. It's probably going to cost a lot just to send a shirt. Please don't do that. And she insisted and she was very, very nice. So I'm thankful and I wanted to make a video to properly thank them and Remedy uh, for that because they did not have to do that and spend that money to ship uh, just a, a fan like me a shirt. Uh, it just seems so silly to do it, uh, but it also shows how much they care about their fans. And so for that reason, I am you know glad I am a fan of theirs and I will be a fan for life. Uh, even though it's just a shirt, it's, it's the gesture you know, of it. And so uh, look at this. Seek Donnelly, Discover a World Unknown, uh, from the Federal Bureau of Control. How cool is that? Um, ah, that's so awesome. And yeah, they sent me a shirt. And I told her, you know, if the shirt size shrinks, then, you know, like uh, maybe send me an XL uh, because, uh, you know, I'm getting older and fatter. And so I want a shirt that fits me as I get older and fatter. Uh, but this is 
a really nice quality shirt. Look at this. Uh, control. And there's our main character there. Uh, that's so awesome. And there's something on the sleeve here. It says uh, 505 Games. And then on the back, the shirt says, uh, Discover a World Unknown, just like the business card said. Uh, but how awesome is that? I mean, like I said, I'm I'm just like a fan and uh, and I'm not even someone with like a, a big following or anything like that. Uh, I'm just a dude. And uh, so when I wrote them and said, hey, I'm sorry, I can't get this you know, shirt. I, I'm sick. I can't make it to the show. And she was like, no problem. I'll take care of you. And she did. And I just wanted to say thanks. It's uh, again, it's it's more than just a shirt to me. It's a gesture of uh, of how much they care about their fans, no matter how small they are on the, uh, you know, the totem pole. And, um, and this meant a lot to me. So thank you, Vita. Thank you, Remedy Games, 505 Games. Thanks everyone who, uh, you know, for being awesome and for making a, a game that looks so amazing to me. Uh, I'm so excited to play Control. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do another video, like an analysis video on it coming up. But, uh, you know, I'll try to do my best. I'll try to get one out there um, in the next week or two because uh, I've been watching their Twitch streams uh, on my lunch breaks and stuff at work and seeing the footage. And it just looks amazing. It looks like a lot of fun. So I'll do a little video, at least uh, describing the world, talking about some of the enemies, the things you're going to encounter. And I'll show off some of that gameplay, uh, but not too much of it. I don't want to take too much of their hard work, uh, but I'll do my, do what I can. And I'll make a fun video for you guys uh, between now and the release of the game, which is in August. So it's like a month away. And we will definitely be live streaming the game when it comes out. It comes out, actually, I think Halo con weekend or when i go to halo outpost discovery so i won't be able to play it the night it comes out because i'll be in anaheim at a hotel um you know uh waiting for halo con and stuff uh, but i will play it soon after so you can guarantee i will play the game and we'll have a lot of fun streaming it so thank you again everyone 505 games remedy vita thank you everyone for this shirt i am very thankful and uh, i hope you guys check out control when it comes out in august and if you are on the fence of it check out my videos when they come up uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll try to sell you on it for sure because i'm excited and i want to share my excitement with you guys and i want to show you why i'm excited and why this game is worth a look uh, because i was dying to see it at e3 and unfortunately i missed out missed an opportunity but i after watching their twitch streams i'm sold i'm 100 percent on board with this game so thank you again i gotta go now because i am getting super tired but i appreciate everything like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you all in the future peace